Any real estate entrepreneur and investor will tell you that relationships are the key to building your business. And I can tell you that it was through my relationships with property managers, brokers, but most of all, potential passive investors that we're all able to not only forge new friendships, but also close several deals. But if you don't have a network yet, you may be wondering, how can I meet these high net worth investors? One of the places to meet these people is at nonprofit groups and charity groups. Many of these people tend to be very generous. They also enjoy giving back to their community. When they are in a group of others celebrating the, the, the spirit of giving, they're in a mindset of relationship building and they're open to meet other people, people like you. So consider looking at like say meetup.com or Eventbrite and search for charity or nonprofit and put a list of these events together in your local area. You know, pick events that line up with your interests as closely as possible. Go a few times, get to know the people, you know, make yourself visible. Talk to others and get to know them and let them get to know you. If you run into someone that doesn't want to talk to you, pay no matter. Just talk to as many people as you can. You know, take an interest in what they're saying too. But remember, all you're doing is talking. You're not pitching. You're not selling. You're just building a network. Okay. I found that volunteering at nonprofits and charities is one great way to build these relationships. It, it's, um, it really helps because these people fund these endowments. Many of these high net worth individuals support these causes with their own time and money. You know, through these relationships, I personally have benefited not only on my own deals, but have also built great friendships that still continue to this day for, for many years now. Additional strategies that I've found to be helpful is going to real estate conferences, wealth building conferences, and even RIA meetings. You may be able to find like-minded people that are there that have large networks of their own that you could possibly leverage too. When you're talking and meeting people, you don't want to go in cold. Make sure that you prepare to go to these events. You know, sharpen your skills, spend time to learn the verbiage, learn the deal structures, learn the lingo, nail down your story and define your why. Remember that your network, they're going to be investing in you. So listen to podcasts, educate yourself and make real estate a big part of your life. So network building is a, will be a big part of your success. What are you doing today to build out your network? Let me know in the comments. If you like the content, please check out our podcast on iTunes and on Stitcher and subscribe to the new YouTube channel. The links are in uh, the description below. We're going to be working on getting new content out all the time. We want to help you build success in the world of multifamily. Be great, guys. Talk to you soon.